get ready, get a pen and paper, and get comfortable, because here come eight phrases and idioms with get, which you can use in a business context. Let's go. Words. Get down to business. Let's get down to business is a great phrase to use at the start of this video, because that's what I'm doing. I'm getting down to business. The introduction was very short. I gave you some phrases with get. I told you what I was going to do, and now I'm getting down to business. I'm starting to speak about or work on the thing which is important immediately without wasting any time. Getting directly to the important issue. For example, we've only got 10 minutes, so let's get down to business and discuss the details of the project. The team wasted no time and got down to business on brainstorming ideas for the upcoming marketing campaign. Get, get the, the ball, ball rolling. rolling. To get the ball rolling is another phrase to use to talk about beginning or starting something. But with get the ball rolling, you're normally talking about something which is slower or a longer process and getting the ball rolling so it can continue rolling for a long time. For example, to meet our deadline, we need to get the ball rolling on this project immediately. Let's schedule a meeting to discuss the new initiative and get the ball rolling. Get, get ahead. This is what everyone wants to do at work. They want to get ahead. To get ahead means to make more progress or to advance further or just be better than someone or something else. It could be your colleagues. You want to get ahead of your colleagues so that you are the one who gets that great promotion. Or you could be talking about another company. You want your company to get ahead of all of its competitors. Here come the examples. To succeed in today's competitive business world, it is crucial to constantly improve your skills and knowledge to get ahead. By developing a strong online presence, our company aims to get ahead of our competitors and attract more customers. Get the hang of something. To get the hang of something is the same as, maybe you know this verb, to become accustomed to something. It's like when you get a new car. At first, everything is new and strange and you have to learn the intricacies of it. It's not the same as your previous car. But then, after a few days, weeks of driving it, you get the hang of it. You know where everything is. Nothing is new and strange anymore. Here are some examples so you can get the hang of using this phrase. Our new accounting software might seem complex at first, but with practice, you'll quickly get the hang of it. It took a few weeks, but our new intern finally got the hang of the company's filing system. Get the message across. To get the message across means to successfully communicate information. Or put more simply, to successfully make someone know what you want them to know. Am I getting the message across of the meaning of to get the message across? If not, maybe these examples will help. In presentations, it's important to use clear visuals and compelling storytelling to get the message across. Our sales team utilizes social media platforms to get the message across to a broader audience. Get back to someone. To get back to someone is to respond at a later time. It could be because you're busy at that moment and don't have time to respond to someone, or maybe it's because you don't have the information that they are asking for and you need to go and get the information and get back to them later. If you still don't get the meaning of to get back to someone, then write me a message in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay, let's do some examples. I received your email and I will get back to you with the requested information by the end of the day. I need to finish this report urgently, but I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can. Get, get up, up to, to speed. speed. To get up to speed means to get to the same level of knowledge as someone else. Imagine some cars in a race. The cars which are behind the leader need to get up to speed so they can reach the same level as the leader and then overtake them and win. And it's the same with knowledge. If you don't know something that somebody else knows, you need to get up to speed. Like in these examples. 
Before joining the team, our new hire needs to get up to speed with the company's policies and procedures. To effectively contribute to the project, it's crucial that everyone gets up to speed on the latest market trends. Get on with or get along with someone. If you get on with someone or get along with someone, it means you have a good relationship with that person. It doesn't mean that you are romantic with them. It doesn't mean that you are best friends. It just means that on a day-to-day -day basis, things are good, things are fine. There are no arguments, no difficulties. You get on, you communicate well, and you enjoy working together. It's important to get on with your colleagues. Here are some examples. During the merger process, it's important for both companies' executives to get along with each other to ensure a smooth integration of operations. The main reason he quit was that he didn't get on with his manager. So I hope I got the message across. If you want to get ahead with your English, then get the hang of using phrases like this and your fluency will fly. Don't forget to follow us here at Four Words for more business, English and communication skills tips. See you next time.